Minister, you're quite new to the job. What do you feel that you personally can bring on that front to the role? When I'm sitting together with the defence ministers from the other NATO countries, we are only a few women in the room. And at least I can say I laugh much louder <laughs> than most of the men. No, to be honest, I think it's important that we consider how to have the civilian part cooperating with the military part and that's one of the things I put into the to the table and I think it's uh, looking having the holistic approach is maybe a female approach to things. Uh, I know that there are no many women minister of defense in the world but I can tell you that I have felt all the time since the first day as another colleague in NATO in European Union and also in the Ministry of Defence. Minister Fram, you worked in both the private sector and the public sector. From your experiences, which one do you feel has actually made greater advances in representing women? Many people ask me that question and I would say women are fairly well distributed in both. And you could also add political sector, but either sector you don't find many women at the top. Political parties, they actually uh, face that challenge by introducing in Norway quotas. We know we have to push for having better public policies that can help professional women. I mean, we, we are having, for instance, me as Minister of Defense, exactly the same problems that are having uh, any other women that are also professional women. We need uh, policies that help us to be mother and professionals. My difficulties, the same difficulties that, than any other woman, so many difficulties sometimes, uh, which is a professional woman. I mean, uh, the 24 hours of 24 hours job, flying abroad three or four days. At the school, they always call mom. They never call the father. Um, these meetings, hour and hour and hour, that a woman would never do. I mean, we know that time is gold. It's important for any job, for any job, if you are a man or you are a woman, to have a full life. And full life means to be able to make compatible professional life and private life.